Welcome to our weekly Forex forecast, and this is for trading for the week of June the 14th to the 18th, 2021. Just a quick disclaimer here before we get started. This is for educational purposes only. Trading is a risky business, so please be careful with their money. As usual, we'll start off by taking a look at our calendar here. So in terms of, um, in terms of the data that's coming up here. Um, on Monday, we have Bank of England, Governor Bailey speaking. So with the central banks, it's just the, the important uh, thing would be uh, in regards to the future guidance. Uh, for Australia here, we have a monetary policy meeting minutes. So here as well, um, at this point, not really expecting an interest rate hike, uh, but it will be uh, more in terms of are the is the language changing now. So when the language starts to change, that's when um, we see an influence here. Uh, so if they start talking about tightening the monetary policy, that will be good for Australian dollar. And then we have Bank of England, Governor Bailey speaking here again. Uh, and then retail sales here for the US. Now, retail sales um, for the month, not looking that great, but overall they are looking positive. So um, with the numbers, if the numbers come in positive, that will be good for the US dollar. So we'll keep an eye on it. And especially for the US uh, stock market, this will have a positive impact here. Um, and then Wednesday here, most important thing will be the CPI number. Now for Canada here, so the CPI number, um, again, the, these are the inflation numbers. So with the, um, with the market being flooded, um, with the um, loose monetary policy or with, with the money, so all this money printing has a negative impact. So it, uh, um, the price, uh, sorry, I should say the, the US dollar or the, any uh, currency doesn't hold as much value because of the oversupply of money. And this is where um, everything costs more. So inflation is a real concern. If the inflation starts to go up, then the central bank will have to uh, take action, which means they, they will have to um, either tighten the monetary policy or increase um, interest rates. And that's why CPI um, right now has become very important. So we'll keep an eye on this. If the um, numbers come in above these previous numbers, that will be good for Canadian dollar. And especially Bank of Canada has talked about um, pulling forward the interest rate hike into 2022 as opposed to 2023 that they were originally looking at. So any kind of positive CPI numbers, especially if they're much higher than the previous ones, that will have a positive impact. Um, so we'll keep um, that in mind. Uh, we have FOMC here. Again, at this point, not looking to raise uh, interest rate uh, at this point, but again, it's the fall forward guidance. Uh, that will make the real difference here. So far, Fed has um, held on to the same uh, rhetoric in terms of the interest rate. So if they continue on with the loose monetary policy and don't even talk about um, any kind of interest rate hike, so that will be good for the stock market. But if they start talking about tightening it, either um, tapering off the, the bond purchases that they're doing, or they start talking about interest rate hike in 2022, for example, that will be positive for the US dollar. Um, and then we have a Reserve Bank of Australia, Governor Lau speaking here. So again, we had me, um, meeting minutes uh, for Australia as well. So this statement will be very important. So keep that in mind. Again, at this point, we're all looking at uh, what the central banks are thinking now that they have flooded the market with the, with the money. Um, are they going to start tapering that off? And that's where all the focus will be. Uh, employment numbers here for Australia, very important. So right now expecting a positive change here, if that's the case, we'll see that see Australian dollar go up as a result. Swiss National Bank, so we have lots of uh, center bankers here. So again, with, this, uh, with Swiss National Bank here, I would not expect them to talk about any kind of tightening. So if they don't, um, in that case, we are not likely to see uh, Swiss franc go up. It will either be neutral if they hold the stance um, or if they push it further back. So they say we are not going to raise interest rates or we are going to continue on with the monetary policy uh, till 2023. That would have a negative impact on uh, Swiss franc here. Uh, other than that, we have... Um, 
employment numbers here. And then also we have monetary policy statement for Japan. So many different central banks here uh, this week. So expect volatility in the market. And then a Bank of Japan press conference as well as retail numbers on Friday uh, for UK. So tons of data, central banks. So what volatility is to be expected this week. All right, so let's go on to our charts now. We'll start with um, euro dollar as usual. So with this one here, we see that price tested higher and now we have a nice drop. Um, we are looking for price to uh, looking for a continuation here. So price um, wasn't able to go through multiple times. We have rejection. So with this one looking for a drop, first target is 1.2050 and second target is 1.1985. So I'd be looking for a bit of a pullback here and then a drop. So those are the targets 1.2050, 1.1985. And then we will see if it continues further. Uh, so bearish bias here for Euro dollar. Pound dollar here, this one also rejecting the high here. Price went right into the resistance and then it struggled here for the last few days. Now the candle close isn't that strong. Um, it's nowhere like this one here. It's very tiny. So it's still, uh, there is reluctance here, but neutral to bearish bias here, looking for a drop. First target here would be 1.40. And then we're looking at 1.39. Um, two zero. So bias here is bearish as well for pound dollar. Aussie dollar here, this one has also been struggling, um, hasn't really done a whole lot. It's been stuck in this very narrow range here for quite some time. Um, now we see the price is looking bearish. However, this is the same um, support level where it was bearish previously as well. So price has struggled into 0 0.7675 and if it fails here we could again see price go up so bias is bearish with caution though because it's right into the support here so next target for this is 0 0.7565 so bearish bias for aussie dollar as well new zealand dollar this one looks better than aussie dollar here now keep in mind it is also into support so we have been stuck in this range uh, for a number of weeks now. So we do have a solid candle close just like we did here, but it's not out of the range yet. And that's why we have to be careful. But once we see a break, then we're looking for price to drop further, looking for it to retest these lows here. So first target is 0 0.70. And then below that, we are looking at 0 0.6940. Like I said, though, uh, this is where we'll have to be careful because it could turn around because this is a nice uh, important support resistance level here. So bearish bias with caution here though. Um, dollar CAD here, dollar CAD also looking bullish. Now it is also into resistance as we can see. This is where price has struggled before. It struggled with support for several weeks and now we are starting to see a bullish uh, move here. So this is what I'm looking for, a bit of a pullback and then retest of the high. If it's able to break through, then we have this nice move down that is likely to get filled. Then we will look for the move higher. Again, the concern would be the resistance that it's coming up into 1.2195. So 1.2 to uh, 0, 0 level. If it cannot get through, we are back into the range once again. And this is where we've been stuck for the last uh, few weeks here. So bias, I would say, is bullish with caution, though. Next target is 1.2350. So once it gets through, then we will look for this move. These both of these candles, it could go all the way up into 1.2470. But the hurdle will be the current resistance. Um, Euro pound here, this one has also been stuck into um, into the support here for last few weeks. It's been struggling with this. So we need to see it break because we have this nice candle that could get filled here. Uh, it's partially filled. So waiting for it to finish the move here. But again, it keeps getting stuck into the support and it's been trading sideways here. It's been just been choppy back and forth in this range. 
Uh, again, so we need to wait for the break before we take this continuation move lower. Uh, so bearish bias, again, with caution here. Next target is 0 0.8470. So bearish bias here for Euro pound. Uh, Euro Swiss franc here, this one has, um, it, went, it was sideways for quite some time and it's finally broken through here. So now we're looking for price to go all the way into the support level. Uh, so in this case, uh, target here is 1.7085. So bearish bias here uh, for Euro Swiss franc, look for a bit of a pullback and then I'm looking for a further drop here. So bearish bias uh, target is 1.0785. Uh, pound Swiss franc here, this one has been trading sideways and it's still stuck in that narrow range here. Uh, right now looking for price to go into the support, but there's no clear direction here. So this is neutral here. So pound Swiss franc, basically it could do this. Um, so neutral bias here for uh, pound Swiss franc target is 1.2600. Dollar Swiss franc here, this one as well, has been stuck in a range. And as we can see, price has rejected the support here. Uh, and um, now we could look for a move towards the high, which is 0 0.9050, but this is where price could turn around. So bias right now is neutral for dollar Swiss franc as well. Pound yen, pound yen has been struggling here. So this one has been struggling here, hasn't really done a whole lot over the last few weeks. Uh, candle close here is completely neutral, so bias is neutral, doesn't uh, doesn't really have, even though it looks like it's drifting lower, it doesn't have the momentum, so it's not quite bearish yet. Overall, though, bias still is bullish, so if it continues to hold above 153.50, then we are looking for next level higher. So with this one here, we could see a drop and then a continuation higher. Um, overall, still looking quite bullish here. So right now, bias is neutral, looking for a bit of a drop towards 153.50. Uh, Euro yen here, this one looks a little better. Uh, we have a nice pin bar here, which is nice. Uh, the concern here would be that we are right into the support here at 132.50. So if it doesn't get through, again, we can see like this one here, we could see that continuation higher. This one overall, though, is also bullish here, as we can see, uh, still holding on to that bullish trend. So I'm looking for a bit of a drop here towards uh, potentially towards 132, but 132.50 would be the concern because it could bounce off of this or something like this. So right now, slight bearish bias, neutral to bearish. So looking for a bit of a drop here before we see that continuation. So neutral uh, to bearish bias for Euro Yen, target is 132. Dollar Yen here, not looking um, very solid in either direction here. As we can see, price has held above the support, but we have a neutral candle close for the week. Uh, so no clear direction overall it's going sideways it's been sideways here this is the range it's been trading in but right now it's stuck into the support so neutral bias uh, i would look for potential move towards 110.20 uh, but for now no clear direction for this one um, aussie yen here this one has also been stuck sideways here overall this is the range it's been trading in um, and as we can see, the last few weeks have been especially brutal here. No movement. Uh, it's very, very narrow range that it's stuck in at the moment. So right now, neutral bias, we may see a move towards 83.90, so 84. If it gets through that, then we are looking at 83. So neutral to slightly bearish bias for Aussie yen. New Zealand yen, this one is slightly better, but again, we are into support here um, at 78. So if price doesn't go through this, again, it could turn around. It's been turning, it's been trading in a range here for six weeks now and hasn't been able to get through the uh, through the support. Last time price was bearish here, it bounced off of the support. So this is what we have to be careful uh, with this week as well. It could do this, uh, just pull back, uh, sorry, it could go into the support and then bounce off of that. 
Uh, so watch out for that. Once it gets through, then we will look for a bearish move. Uh, but until then, it will be sideways. So I'm going to say bearish with caution, though, at 78.00. Once it gets through, then we will target for 76.60 here. Um, CAD yen as well, similar uh, story here as well. We are uh, kind of stuck in a range here for a bit, but looking for a drop. So we have a nice candle close, a nice bearish candle close here. So looking for a bit more of a pullback, 89.80 and then 89.30. So bearish bias for CAD yen. Um, all right, so let's take a look at commodities here. Um, starting off with silver, silver has been sideways, it's been choppy, hasn't really done a whole lot. This is where uh, price has been stuck. So this week's candle close is also neutral. So no clear direction here, looking for a sideways uh, move here. So neutral bias for uh, new sorry, excuse me, um, neutral uh, bias here for silver. And what I'm looking for is a retest here and this type of a move. So basically looking for it to bounce around a bit here. So neutral bias for silver. Gold here, gold dropped a bit and um, it's still not out of that. We are into support. So it's not quite out of the uh, the mess here, but looking slightly bearish here. Next target is 1850. And then below that, only if it first can, gets through this, then 1818. But for now, <laughs> excuse me, bearish bias for uh, gold. Um, all right, oil looking bullish here. And as we can see, uh, looks like it wants to move further up here. 72.50 is the next target. And then we are into, into some resistance levels here. But overall, still maintaining that bullish bias. Uh, so targets here, first target is uh, 72.50 and then 73.50. So bullish bias for oil. Copper is still sideways here. It's right into support, seems to be bouncing off of the support. We have a neutral candle close. So just expecting a range bound move here uh, for copper as well. This is what we are looking for. Neutral bias here for copper as well. Um, okay, Bitcoin here. Bitcoin has been stuck in this range still. So this is not the current chart. Current chart, current price, we're looking at about 36,780. Um, but overall, though, it's stuck in a range. It bounced off of the support here, uh, but the candle close is not very strong. So we can't really expect it may not go uh, further, though. Uh, so watch out for that. We may get a move like this or all the way into the resistance, but it has to get out of this range before we can see a continuation higher. And once it's able to break this, then we will target this 46,000 lever level. But for now, this is uh, sideways, expecting a range bound move here between 39,500 and 31,000. So neutral bias for Bitcoin here. And then S&P 500, this is looking bullish. Um, and right now we are into all time highs. So bullish bias here, uh, we are into 4250. So 4300 is the next target here uh, for S&P 500, but it's still maintaining that range. So bullish bias here for S&P 500. NASDAQ here, NASDAQ also looking bullish. And this is where um, as we can see, it's heading towards the highs. So 14,000 is the first target. And then we have 14,200 as the second target. So overall, again, still maintaining that bullish bias as well. With the uh, Dow Jones here, uh, this one's bounced back a bit here. But overall, though, it's holding above this previous support resistance level, which gives it the bullish bias still overall. Now, this one could pull back though towards 33,600. So keep that in mind. Uh, we could get some sort of, a, or a bit of a drop and then a further move higher. Uh, so keep that in mind, Very, sorry, um, neutral bias here, neutral to bullish bias here for Dow Jones as well. 
DAX also looking bullish. We are pushing right into the highs here. So bullish bias, next target here is 16,000. So bullish bias for DAX as well. And then FTSE here, FTSE also looking uh, bullish. And with this here, it's right into the highs. So once we see a break, next target here is 7250. And then we have Nikkei here. Nikkei also um, maintaining the lows here or maintaining the support here, which means uh, we could see a move towards 29,680. So bias here is uh, neutral to bullish. So I would look for something like this. So bullish bias or neutral to bullish bias here for Nikkei as well. Um, all right, Brad, you're looking for Euro dollar. So let's take a quick peek. Uh, Euro dollar looking bearish, looking for a drop towards 1.2050 and then 1.1985. Uh, so this is bearish. All right, so that's it. Um, you guys have a wonderful trading week and I will be back with a daily analysis on Monday. Bye for now.